By your local Toyota dealer and Sterling Savings Bank, KXLY 4HD and Friday Night Sports Extra bring you the best seat in the house for high school football. Friday Night Sports Extra starts right now. Well, you know what? We've traded a lot of good things on Friday Night Sports Extra. This is Nicholas. His mom, Robin, traded us. You got to give that hat to your mom, okay? But the good news is you get to stay here through the whole show and watch all the football highlights, okay? All right, good. So I don't think Nick, his mom's going to like that too much. She wants to go home. So. We'll, we'll give him a ride home. No big deal. Hey, I'm still de from tonight. I know the Florida boy here or whatnot, but it was a uh, the first chilly night, I guess I should say, of uh, high school football. You guys have promised me many more to come. Yeah, so you're, you're this kind of pushed me into it. Ben the Popsicle will yes. be out to a neighborhood near you. And Dennis broke a land, land, record, land record today, no over today. 400 miles in a car today. And he probably spent about a total of 20 minutes mm -hmm. of football games. We'll throw you all those highlights come up a little bit right later. You ready to uh, read the first game's yeah, highlights? You're overdressed, though. Next time, lose the tie, okay? <laughs> all right. Ferris and Shadle Park. Are you a fan of either of those schools? Ferris or Shadle? You like either one? Just say, go East Valley. All right. There oh, we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, don't, listen, don't listen to the key. All right. That's Nicholas. He's going to hang out. And, oh, my. Did we trade a hat to this guy? Oh, I'm not sure that was worth it. Hey, no score. Shadle Park quarterback Chris Donahue. Throws one to the sideline. C.J. Haney of Ferris makes the tip interception. Ferris ball. Derek Patterson throws to Jason Bates. Oh, that's a nifty catch. Just don't check into his hotel. 25 yards on the grab. Next play, Peterson to Jordan Tanani. Oh, look at the move. And he gets into the end zone. Thank you, Mr. Referee. One-yard touchdown runs are boring. T.D. Ferris, another shade will turn over Ferris. Uh, Aaron Roberts with a quick keeper. Another Ferris touchdown. And Shadle quarterback Donahue tries to throw deep. Picked off by Roberts again. What a long night for the Saxons. Fair, I should say for the Highlanders. Ferris goes on to win it 34 to nothing. How about Mead and Rogers? The second game with a double dip. Everything was pink tonight. Susan G. Coleman, Breast Foundation, awareness, cheerleaders, balloons, penalty flags, drums, balloons, athletic tape. Mead gets on the board first. Brandon Lynch takes the handoff 15 yards for the touchdown there. More Mead offense. Quarterback Matt Kaiser rolls out and looking for Bo Tully. Oh, that's a nifty grab in the corner of the end zone for the touchdown. And Mead says on this night of pink, a little trickery. The sweep to Zach England who tosses it back to Tully. High stepping. Look at him go. Breaks the tackle. His brother was a pretty good player and so is he. And then Kaiser rolls out, throws to Ryan LaFort. This one was all me. They go on to win it 35-14. Let's give both those schools credit for the show that they put on and the awareness they brought on Breast Cancer Month. How about Mount Spokane and Lewis and Clark last night? They're looking for that iPod winner. We'll show you that a little later on. Third quarter tied at three. Tyler Eglett with a quick hit to Von Capico. He's into the end zone. 10-3 LC at that point in time. On the very next drive, the Wildcats went for it three times on fourth down and got them all three. Colton Williams on the fourth and one. One of the longest plays from scrimmage from Mount Spokane. That would lead to a short touchdown run. Tied the game at 10. But Elsie would force a fumble late in the fourth quarter. Then Eglin hits to Austin Elo. How about that catch? Kid's dad's a basketball player. I think that kid's a football player. Levi Taylor's one-yard run would give the Tigers the win. 17-10. Two wins, two losses. Now two wins for the Tigers in their victory. And we're going to stay with the GSL just a couple miles from the station. Go over to Gonzaga Prep. The bullpup cheerleaders bundled up, but still peppy for their game against North Central. First prep possession, David Stock hands it off. No, he doesn't. Fooled me pretty bad. Speedster <laughs> keeps it himself. Good for 27 yards. Lead to a score makes it 7 nothing home team. But North Central answered right back. Third and long. Justin Matern gets rid of it just in time. Ryan Eckersley makes the grab, adds, adds first down. Yardage after that. Moments later, Matern going to keep it himself. Just gets across the goal line. Ties the game up, but then the bull puffs would pull away. Stockton deciding to pass it this time. Finds a wide open Travis Long. Had a long touchdown run last week. This time in from 26 yards out. It's 14-7. Then Long, a busy guy in Bishop Sankey's absence. Runs it in for another bull pup score. They would add a lot more scores to that. Makes it 55-20. Bull pups go on to win. Let's go U High at East Valley. The East Valley Bass Drum Squad trying to fire up a cold East Valley crowd. They're already up 28-14, so the football team good, doing a good job at that. And Chris Zivick runs it in for six more, 34-14 nights. The smile creeping onto <laughs> Key's face as we speak. Fourth quarter, Knights still hungry. How about some more of this Zivick game? Finds the hole, adds six more. The Knights go on to add a lot more to that total, 44-21. to 21. 
is the final there. Keith, congrats, dog. Nicholas didn't want to give the hat up, so I made him trade for the tie, but I don't think the tie really fits. That's a fat guy in a little tie. CV tired of beating up on the GSL. They went across the border to take on Post Falls. CV up early in this one, but Post Falls threatening. Here's Nick Reinhardt going up top, but Brad Whitley is there for CV. He's been making plays all season long. Foils the drive there, but the Trojans do get on the board. Reinhardt to Cody Clark, who somehow stays on his feet. And takes it into the end zone. That's a 16-yard touchdown run. Cuts the lead to seven. But CV right before the half. Check this play out. Breaking out the trickeration. That's the hook. And there's the ladder. Oh, See you no. later. Greg Barnes. He's giggity, giggity gone. 60 yards into the end zone. CV, just like they do over here, gets a win on the road over in Post Falls, 33-7. to seven. We had an 11-man game uh, disguised as an eight-man game over in Coeur d'Alene. A lot of points scored as Valley View comes to town tonight. Wild one, Lake City goes airborne. Adam Fennenbach to Tanner Salk. He takes it in. Timberwolves doing real good there. Valley View, though, they brought the air attack as well. J.J. High going deep here. Nice sliding grab on the other end. Devin Telkin. That's a touchdown for Valley View. More offense this time from Lake City again. Fennenbach keeps it himself, and he is long gone. Quarterbacks aren't supposed to be that fast. 70 yards and into the end zone. Things looking good for the Timberwolves. But Valley View wins this one in a shootout, 49-11. to In an Inland Empire action, Lewiston gets a big win at home against Coeur d'Alene. Sandpoint went up to Canada. Eh? The Comets used the extra attacker. They were on the power play. They get the advantage, and they win it. And in Big Nine action, Moses Lake goes over to Wenatchee tonight, but it was the Panthers that were victorious. We're not done. we got plenty more, including the topsy-turvy Great Northern League and track meet with huddles on... Friday, ni Friday Night <laughs> Sports Extra. There you go. Wow. Friday Night Sports Extra. We'll be right back. Ah, welcome back to Friday Night Sports Extra. And Nicholas had to go home. It's past mm -hmm. his bedtime, so we appreciate him stopping by. You may have noticed no Kayla tonight, no Kayla's corner. Kayla a little bit under the weather. We hope she's uh, do she is doing better. She'll be back next Friday. So East Valley finally wins the game, and Kayla's nowhere to be found. She had the green and white flu then? Green and white flu. Saying? The mighty night strike again. Take another one out. Great night of action tonight in the GNL. All the way up to Colville tonight where we traded a hat. For some cowbell. Oh, yeah, I got a fever. Opening kickoff. It's going to go to Colville's Jared Fisher. It's the old drop the ball off the face mask, pick it up, run out of focus, break it to the outside, break a tackle for a 90-yard touchdown trick. I've seen it a 100 times. What a run on the opening kickoff by Jared Fisher. Colville up early in this one. But Cheney didn't come all the way up there for nothing. D'Angelo Jones goes up top on third and long. Sam Schellebarger, he's there. Nice catch on the sideline there. First down, and they're in business. Blackhawks would capitalize. Jones rolling out. Can't find anybody to throw to. Tucks it under. He's going to run it. No wait. He's going to pull it back up. There's Schellenberger in the end zone. That's a nice play. And Cheney goes on to win this one in overtime. A field goal by Max Harris to win it for the Blackhawks. Good win on the road for them. More action. Uh, West Valley and Deer Park physical one. Ryan Jorgensen knocked out for Deer Park, but they'd move it anyway. Tevin Hines takes it up the gut. 15 yards, breaks it to the 21-yard line. And the Deer Park Stags had a first down. And the Deer Park Stags would keep it going. Tanner Knutson, he's going to be on the receiving end of this Alex Wolf pass. Nice catch in the end zone. Cheerleaders, they got something to do. And jumping jacks there. Probably put me out of breath. Eagles trying to get back in it. Drew Clausen's pass is broken up. Nice defense by Deer Park. They get the ball with great field position. And West Valley's pumped up for Deer Park having field position, but they punch it in anyway. Brandon Lillfield, three yards uh, and barrels in for six. Deer Park goes to West Valley and in overtime, it's the overtime games, wins it against West Valley on the road. I believe they stay unbeaten and in first place. Deer Park looking awful good this season. Other scores no, in... actually, they lost to Colby. You're right. They did get Clarkson, a lot. They Clarkson. lost to somebody. Clarkston, they just keep beating teams. The Bantams, the Bantams get a win at home. And Poland also with a big win at home against Medical Lake. Hey, we're, we're pretty. We're not informative, okay? <laughs> we just bring you the highlights. All right, Kettle Falls and Freeman tonight. Northeast A action. Alex Quinnett and her friends traded a cup of cocoa for a hat. That was a good trade on both parts, I think. Again, Phil with more food. He doesn't bring any back. First quarter, Scotties will score first. Luke Matthews to Chris Miller. He's in for points. 7 nothing at that point, Freeman. Later, more Scotties. Matthews, watch here. Fakes a handoff. Rolls to his right. And then just zips the ball to Stephen Burke in the end zone. 14 nothing at that point. That may be the coldest field we go to 
in Freeman. It seems to be always two or three degrees cooler. Maybe that's where the National Weather Service office is because it's never the exact same thing. <laughs> Scotty's win at 45 to nothing over the Bulldogs. How about Newport and Chewila? We chaded a hat so this guy wouldn't hit our car. That's an outstanding trade on our part. Just before half, Newport trying to get going. Fake punt by Travis Lorraine. Uh, that's not going to work. Back to the drawing board. Chawila stuffs it, and then Cougars would capitalize. Andres Anama, a 35-yard field goal, and Chawila up big at the half. Second half, more Cougars. Russell Whitley off tackle, searching, searching, and now destroying as he gets a first down. They get it to the 10-yard line, and then Whitley finishes it off. Oh, he smells the goal line. He runs over people. And this one was all Chewila tonight. They go on to win it big in Northeast A action. Idaho 2A action, the thriller, the battle between Grangeville and Kamii. These two teams don't like each other very much. The Bulldogs win it. Kamii likes Grangeville less than they used to. <laughs> and, Keith, in that highlight, West Valley's coach was cheering for Kayla's fast recovery. That's what he oh, was doing, okay. oh. doing in there, just, just so you know. And All right. that's a kick save and a beauty there. <laughs> hey, I do, I do what we can, you know. Let's go LeGrand and Lakeside. Yeah, we traded a hat to hear some jazz flute. Sounds pretty good. Wish we would have gotten some Veronica Corningstone. It's, uh, here we go, 3 the Lakeside, first quarter. LeGrand's Matt Nicholson gets hand off, the handoff, and he's gone. That's a touchdown. Critical fourth down for Lakeside. They uh, line up to punt, but it's a fake direct snap to Brady Blankfort. He picks up the first down. The Eagles then inside the 10 handoff to Evan Dobbs, and Evan Dobbs is going to break a tackle. He gets to the one-inch line next play. Nick Kelly going to go ahead and punch it in. We took you kind of throughout the whole progression of that drive right there. 17-14, Lakeside goes on to win. Let's go Davenport and Selkirk. Zachary, uh, first grader, that's right, traded this gorilla for a hat. we got to go ahead and pick that up tomorrow. He's actually anchoring the sports segments tomorrow night, the gorilla that is. <laughs> this is a tough game, hard running by Justin Piper. He goes ahead and gets in. Now more gorillas, not the big one we just showed you, but this time Justin Wood to Jared Gonning. Takes it inside the 10. Nice grab and run after the catch. Just gets brought down shy of the end zone. And that would set up this. Jake Stevens from three yards out. He takes the handoff, gets into the end zone. 26-7 at the half. And props to Selkirk playing with only 14 players in this one. As Davenport, though, goes on for that big 38-13 win. A couple more scores for you. We've got Reardon topping Republic 27-7. And actually, that's Lynn Ritzville 15-8 over Springdale. We've got some other scores. Southeast 2B action. Nobody was close enough for us to get there without a plane. A Soton wins it 62 to 7. A big win for Gar Powell on the road. DeSales over Pomeroy on the road. And Waitsburg Prescott, not very nice to Tico Oaksdale and Roselia. Wild game. Eniat beats Valley Christian in a non league game. Priest River, a big win over Kellogg in the Intermountain League. Also, Timberlake puts some points on Bonners Ferry. And St. Mary's comes away with a victory over Orfino. Don't go anywhere. Friday Night Sports Extra. Track sheets with huddles, iPods, and the Friday Night Sports Extra debut of Lyle Click Attack Wish Ram. That's one team. That's coming up next. Friday Night Sports Extra. Welcome back to Friday Night Sports Extra. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was. Right. Yeah. 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 Late cue there. Not art, no, my cue. Uh, pictures. <laughs> picture time. You want to win an iPod? Go to KXOY.com, submit your pictures. We delivered an iPod to Jim in uh, Odessa yes, tonight. We did. He was grateful. Gave me a big hug. Thank you, Jim. That's awkward. Yeah, but it was, hey, he was happy. It's an iPod. Well, you know, it's important. All right, let's go to our pictures, some of our nominees. It doesn't have to be action. It can be cheerleaders. It can be fans. Sandy Miller sent this photo from a volleyball match at Wallace High School. Thank you, Sandy. Ferris High School, this is Cassie Went. Uh, she sends us this uh, picture of the double block. That's a great picture there. How about this from Lind Ritzville's oh. Lori Olson? Nice hit. Uh, the Bronco defense here with a big hit there. But our winner tonight is from Deer <laughs> Park. Deer Park Stags. This is a great action picture. Look at that. In the middle of the play. Wow. Nice yeah. double leg takedown. Yeah, there. yeah. That's two points for the takedown <laughs> and back points as well. Jenny Geyer wins an iPod. Uh, you too can win an iPod. All you have to do is go to that blue banner on our uh, page at kxoy.com. Click on the part 
that says, even Dennis could do this. No, it says, submit your photos, send us a photo. We'll have another iPod winner for you next week. Thank you, Jenny. We appreciate you uh, submitting those and everybody who has sent all their photos in. Yeah, good job by everybody. Valley View and Lake City tried to be eight-man teams tonight, yes. but there's just nothing like the original. Nope. Eight-man football time up to Hunters today, where Hunters was playing host to Welpinit. And Hunters would strike first. Paul LaRue with a nice cut back up the middle finds a hole and he's gone 20 yards into the end zone. Eight to nothing. Lions. More Lions. Marcos Mirando finds Eli Bear. How do you say Bear in Spanish? Oso. Another great touchdown catch by Oso. 60 to nothing, Hunters. Lions put it away early. Well, I'm sorry, guys. LaRue punches it in from there. Hunters goes on to win this one. Nice job, Bear. 54 to 26. Out to Odessa with Sprague hey, Harrington is in town. And it was little buddy night in Odessa. Tigers of the future. But it was the big Tigers who'd go up top. Ryan King to Aaron Bruya and Bruya, nice catch there. I think we've said that before, Dan. That set up King to Andy McClure, 21 yards, eight to nothing. Odessa Tigers, tough night for the Falcons. Freshman quarterback Brett uh, Larmar tries to go deep, but Bruya, didn't we just say his name? He's there for the interception, and watch what he does. Cuts it back, I don't even know what he does. I'm watching with you, looks like he's gonna take it into the end zone. He's skittle daddling around, makes the tackle right there. Larmar couldn't get it there, or no, did he? No, save, saved the sa oh, Larmar saved the touchdown. The quarterback coming back to make the play. Oh, but it wouldn't matter. King to Bruya, six yards in, 14 to nothing at that point. Odessa goes on to win this one big at home. Other scores out there. Cusick remains undefeated and ranked number one in the state with a big win at home. And Wilbur Creston goes on the road and gets a big win against Pateros. Also, oh, excuse me, one more. Inchaleum, that's an 11-man <laughs> score, 29-25. They might be on probation. They go up no, on the road and get a win score. against uh, the Waterville Shockers. I'm surprised. Bruya doesn't mean oh so in some other language. <laughs> right. You did try to go ahead and figure that out. Let's keep with the eight-man theme. ACH traveling to Tri-Cities Prep. You see him running on the field there. And this one, third quarter, ACH quarterback Tyler Gregson rolls out, hits Matt Gregson for the short touchdown. And we only show you one play from that one because there just was not much from the good guys. Tri-Cities Prep rolls there. 60 to 26. All right, Keith, help me out here. We got the five town, five town two teams. Game. Lyle, look, look at that. that. Wish there we go. We traded some face <laughs> melting solo guitar performance there for a hat. Thank you. Eagles are starting things off right. Jerome Mason for the Cougs under pressure. He's going to throw it right into the hands of Ben Harrison. He'll gain a few yards, but an eagle fumble leads to this. Seth Davis, the Cougs breaks not one. But two tackles, and then he is off to the races. Runs it in for seven points. Seven nothing Cougs there. And LKW, 48. St. John Endicott, 24 on the final score for that one. Let's go one more. You have Colton Pullman Christian coming up short, 31 to 18. All right, we've got to go quickly through these, so let's get right to the highlights. Lakeside and Mullen. Uh, this guy traded us. Not his cowboy hat, but he gave us he gave us a diaper for a hat. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Uh, no score. Casey McKinnon throws deep downfield to Gulia Morandi. Boy, it, wasn't that what Jerry Rice swore? It was number 61. Next play, McKinnon throws to Trevor Henderson for the touchdown. He's into the end zone. This one was all Mullen in the game. They go on to, or excuse me, Lakeside wins it 72 to 32. How about Troy and Lewis County? Chilly afternoon down in Nez Pierce. Oh, there you see the scores. We've got to get to these quick because we're running out of time. Hard running here by TJ Yockley. Look at him go! Searching! And, uh, they'll, uh, they'll go here. Hal Battini gets into the end zone, and there you see it. Quickly, we'll go through the scores. It was uh, uh, Deary winner, uh, Genesee at Prairie. Prairie wins there. Lapway a shutout winner. Potlatch hangs on to beat Timberlake as well. We'll be back with more Friday Night Sports Action. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week on Friday Night Sports Action. For Ben, for Keith, and Kate will be back next week. Have a great week. We'll see you next Friday.